How are you? I'm going to pray for you. Okay, we we'll have a church with my fellow ministers and some other pastors, so I'm going to the church now. Wait, I'm going to pray for you. When are you come back? Uh, how does that concern you? Once we are done with the meeting, I'll be coming back home. So what are, why are you disturbing? Why are you disturbing? In short, we are becoming too late for this day, so. In short, have you studied your Bible yes. today at all? Yes. And what book of the Bible did you study? Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. And what, what does he say? He says, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That's very good. Very, very good. Wow. And do you know the meaning? Do you know the meaning? No. When Bible said man shall not live by bread alone, it means, because medically speaking, a doctor will advise you not to eat one particular food every day, all the time. That is why our God is not a wicked God. So he advised that we should not eat only bread all the time. Because there are many things you can use to eat bread. You can eat bread with butter, mayonnaise. In short, you can eat bread with egg, bread with beans. It should be good for your body. That is, that is what it means by man shall not live by bread alone. <laughs> Okay, but you disappoint me. You need to call yourself a pastor. <laughs> Let me tell you the meaning. When they are talking about bread, they are talking about every food. When man shall not live by bread alone, it means that you should you should fast and pray. You should see the face of God. You should know the word of God. <laughs> I used to call yourself a pastor. You disappoint me. Old. Shame on you, fake pastor. Go back to believer class. <laughs>